Most definitely, rest in peace to DJ K Slay. Today, we took a big loss in the music industry, in the hip-hop industry, especially like that mixtape era, that DVD era. Come on, man, that's all K Slay all day. My favorite years of K Slay era gotta be 02, 03, 04, 05. That's when it was on fire. He would just come in back to back, back to back. And he would just, not only with the streaks, but the mixtapes, he was also bringing like Pinky, females like that, like Buffy the Body. I'm just saying like that. Like, Cause he used to have this magazine called Straight Stunt Magazine. Street Stunting. I think it was called Straight Stunting Magazine because I used to have it. I used to get the magazines and you will see like, uh, not IG models, but up and coming models that's in porn movies or magazines. He used to have that and uh, like females, up and coming models. It went IG, but up and coming models. They used to come on the DVDs. DVDs like Smack DVDs, uh, Come Up, uh, Sub Zero, Cocaine City. You know, models be on them and they'll come through K Slate. Then with the mixtapes. Yeah, like your Uncle Myrtle's. Uncle Murdo, the first time I heard him was K Slay. Like, uh, I remember going in middle school, listening to 50 Cent mixtapes and hearing K Slay. What was that song? Uh, the Problem Child song. The Problem Child. That's I think, the first time I ever heard K Slay on a 50 Cent record. That Problem Child. But then, after that, I was hearing, that's when I got in tune with uh, Cameron and them. Like in 02, that's when I started listening to Cameron. Because they were dropping them uh, Diplomat mixtapes. The Volume 1, they used to be called Volume 1. Volume 1, Volume 2, Volume 3, Volume 4. And this round of time, I think they went up all the way to uh, Volume 5, the dip set with uh, K Slate. This one, Cameron used to uh, rap on a lot of Jay Z beats. He used to rap on Nas beats, Eminem beats like Stan, uh, Ja Rule, Die for Murder. This one, Cameron signed, uh, he got 20 million. He got 20 million, he signed a deal, and then he had to pay like 10 million after taxes. And he walked away with about 10 million. Yeah, I remember that time. And, uh, I think he was going through his issues with Nas too. And then on the mixtapes with Cam, this one, the Dipset used to put a lot of their songs that they use for the album. So like the Come Home With Me, the Jewel's first CD, the From Me To You, the uh, the first Dipset CD, a lot of them songs, and uh, Jim Jones' first album, uh, On My Way To Church. Yeah, songs like that. And it was, uh, cause that's when Jim Jones was doing a lot of songs with T.I. So yeah, that's that era. And then the Pat Poos, the Street Sweeper. And uh, he used to, uh, what other mixtape I had? L. Cool J, The Return of the Goat. I had that joint. I had a, a Busta Rhymes mixtape with K. Slay hosting it. It was called uh, The Return of the Big Bang. You see how my mind worked? Yeah, it was called The Return of the Big Bang. Um, Cause Busta Rhymes had an album called Big Bang. I think he had some big ass hits on there too. K. Slay also brought out Pop Smoke. He gave him his first show. So put some respect on that there too. Oh, 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 oh. I definitely wouldn't know who Pat Poos was if it weren't for K. Slay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And shout out to the DJ, the first DJ he smacked to give him the K Slay smack your favorite DJ. Shout out to you. I don't know if you still live in or not. If you ain't, rest in peace to you too. But shout out to you because that name did fit his brand. It did. K Slay also did the beef DVDs because he is the drama king. So yeah, that was his voice. So yeah, he did a lot of legendary things. A lot more. I'm leaving out a lot more. But that's just off the top of the dome. You see what I'm saying? But come on, he definitely going to be missed. And this COVID thing is definitely real. You know, sometimes people health conditions be rocky. But it's hard to tell. You won't know unless they get a COVID or a flu. But they really hurting in the inside. And eventually, you know, you'll know because they'll go to the hospital. But, you know, he can still maintain, you know, walking in public, speaking to people. And if you ain't really under him, what he tell you, his real dark secrets with his health conditions, you ain't going to know. You ain't going to know. You may hear a call for something like that, but you ain't going to know, especially if you got a lot of pride. You see what I'm saying? But, yeah, guys like that, they could be all right until a COVID or a big flu and then anybody can't take it it can't shake it you see what i'm saying and of course you know his past choices i don't know it could have been i don't know how you eat or because he's always was more of a on the heavier side not just sloppy fat but just on the heavier side you see what i'm saying really what it be before that his organs his lungs his liver stuff like that his kidney it already be working extra hard and then he probably eat two or three times a day i'm talking about especially in his prime so his organs and his stuff in his body working extra hard. If he smoke, he drink a lot, all that stuff working extra hard. And it's not, it's more unhealthy than healthy. And then something like that hit it, you know, he can't shake it. No matter what age he is, he could be 18, 55, 23. So somebody could still die the same way he did at 24. 
and they be in shape and everything, but your insides be messed up. Or sometimes you don't really be nothing that's wrong with you. You ain't on no medication. You don't really got no health problems. You overweight. That's the only bad thing a doctor will say to you. You overweight. You may need to slow down on this. You may got high blood pressure, eating all them fried foods and all that stuff. Stuff like that, high cholesterol and stuff like that. Other than that, you know what I'm saying, you good. But, you know, something like that hit your body and it ain't ready. It ain't ready and it can't shake it. So you do have cases like that. I'm not 100% sure in his case, but shout out to White 100 for keeping the updates on him the whole time, for breaking the news when he was in the hospital, all that uh, the music industry knows so we can keep that good spirit and energy around him and pray for him and stuff like that. So shout out to White 100 for that right there. And then, let me see, uh, Mano, he helped him a lot. I knew Mano. I used to always watch Mano on the Smack DVDs and stuff like that. And uh, K Slay was a big part of that though. Mano. I remember going into the store, uh, Circuit City and stuff like that, spending twenty dollars on a DJ K Slay CD, Street Sweeper. This when he signed a deal with uh, Columbia. Columbia used to back K Slay and gave him all that bread. That's just cut his checks. Yeah, he used to just drop CDs, CDs, CDs. And yeah, he's going in. So, yeah, man, we definitely took a big loss in the music culture, especially up north. Yeah, man, it's definitely struck a nerve for me because I used to always support K Slay with his products. You know what I'm saying? I definitely ain't never know him, but his product, when he drops stuff, I go buy it, a real copy. Mixunit.com, I buy mixtapes, DVD if you drop it, the magazine. So we always got to tell our loved ones we love them because you never know. Not just the grandma and the auntie and the mama because they all females. The men too. Your granddaddy, your homeboys, your cousin. If you really rock with them, tell them you love them. I know it's a lot of tough dudes with a lot of pride. They don't want to tell nobody they love them unless it's a female and they barely do that. They can do it to their mama. But nah, you can't hold it in. Let it be known. Just put some sauce on it, some drip on it. Where you from? You can say whatever. You don't want to say I love you? Say love you, bro. That's it. Take the owl. Definitely got to tell our people, our family, our friends, and all them people that we love, that we love them. At least once or twice a week. At least. Bare minimum. You know what I'm saying? If you send them every day. And if it's a long distance type of love, definitely with them. Because you never know. Especially in these wicked times. But that's my take on this conversation right here, man.